everybody, welcome back to Jurch Reacts. In this video, I'm going to react to Lana Del Rey, Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard? Um, I think that's maybe the longest song title I've ever read. Uh, I've never heard this song, so I'm looking forward to hearing it for the first time. I have reacted to Lana Del Rey before. I've really enjoyed the Lana Del Rey songs. They have definitely a certain mood and a sound, and you can kind of tell right away. Uh, I was definitely disappointed in her duet on the Midnight's album. I feel like she was underutilized. And uh, I still feel like Born to Die and Video Games are my top two favorite songs of hers. And they're the first two songs that I did reactions to. So it's been kind of a bummer to not have those topped. But I still have, you know, for the most part, really liked uh, her songs. The song Love grew on me after a while as well. Uh, if you like what I do around here, make sure you like the video comment in the comment section to join the conversation subscribe if you are new if you want to see these unedited reactions um head on over to patreon.com slash for just five bucks all right here we go did you know that there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard so literally how the song starts it's like c a minor i can't G. help it feels fuck me to death love me until i love myself I was just looking at the lyrics to make sure I heard them right. <laughs> Didn't she have like, she had like the super hardcore Pepsi or Coke song or something like that? It's been a while. Um, it just reminds me of South Park. I'll leave it at that. You can figure it out for yourself. Uh, I like the groove. I like the violin. Again, it's a C A minor situation or a G E minor situation. I'll try to play a little bit of it at the end. This is a longer song that uh, is kind of like a, a slower melody, so we'll just uh, keep going. Uh, to give context, because I know Mirrors will watch this video, it's the same chord progression as the main theme from Twin Peaks. I'm just, I'm like going through the lyrics, taking in the emotion and trying to figure out what I think, what my interpretation of the song is about. Um, I feel like the the line tunnel under ocean boulevard means beneath all of this beauty there's like an emptiness that can't be fulfilled and this emptiness is like painted or uh, <laughs> the emptiness is full of like dead dreams like when she says in the opening lyrics of there's a tunnel under ocean boulevard um, and there's a there's a a mosaic painted tiles on the wall it just seems like um you know all of these great things that you can be that want to burst out to ocean boulevard are like trapped in the tunnel in the darkness that you feel inside and it was i thought it was really cool that she was singing you know don't forget me in her actual song but then in the song lyrics she talks about a song she heard that had those lyrics so there's like a an, um, like a meta layer to I'm trying to sound like the people who were successful because I want to be successful too and I mean and with that same logic I like the song it's a really good song it's a it's a better Lana Del Rey song on a first listen for me I liked the melody and the verse and the chorus I liked the strings I liked the you know the progression I really liked the kind of strange lyrics that really have me kind of thinking as I'm experiencing it and you know, that little girl in the tunnel could very well be her. It could be a younger version of herself, you know, before she actually made it, you know, trying to make it. You know, maybe she sang songs she wasn't passionate about just because she knew she needed to sing to be successful. And this, this don't forget me, it could almost, um, it could almost be like her reflecting on her life because she's had kind of a longer career now. She's been pretty successful for a while. And maybe, you know, don't forget me is like her, her reminding herself not to forget kind of that despair and the emptiness she felt before she made it to Ocean Boulevard. That's another thought that I have about this. Um, yeah. And this opened me up, tell me you like me, F me to death, love me until I love myself. I feel like it could just be like, the entertainment industry, right? Um, or an audience, you know? Tell me you like me. Love me until I love myself, that kind of thing. 
Let's play a little bit of it, I guess. It's a matter of where it starts. Yeah, so it's C, A minor. It's just in the wind. Uh, it's also the Final Fantasy VII main theme is, is arranged around C, A minor. It's also like an, a bunch of old kind of like 50s rock pop songs, which is kind of her aesthetic. Anyway, so then the chorus is just FCG. And I think she throws in a D minor in the third go around. song interesting lyrics uh kind of a, a melancholic catchy melody which is kind of her jam i think and uh, i wonder if there's a music video for this i wonder what it would have been if it would have been the literal imagery of the storytelling in the song or if it would have just been something else entirely another layer of narrative or interesting thoughts um from the song i don't think that there was when i when i pulled it up on youtube this was like the number one most viewed on her official channel so i'm assuming this is what people uh, look at when they react to the song. So, uh, yeah, I definitely liked it. If you like this video, make sure you like it, comment, let me know some of your thoughts on this song. What do you think the lyrics are about? And what else do you want to see me react to around here? Let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new as well. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.